Hi, welcome to my channel, My Raven's Cauldron. This evening I'm ringing for, uh, ringing? No, I'm not ringing anybody. I'm reading for Sagittarius. So this is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus, Sam. Cross watchers, you're welcome here. You could be dealing with the Sagittarius. Or you have Sagittarius somewhere in your chart. Cross watchers, you're also welcome here. So this is going to be for October 31st. Um, please remember, time is fluid. So there may be something key from the past that's currently affecting your present situation, but we'll have a look. So, what is coming towards Sagittarius, please? Thank you for being here, Archangel Michael. What is coming towards Sagittarius? Love, career, finances, challenges. What is coming towards Sagittarius? Okay, let's have a look. What's coming towards Sagittarius, please? Reversed. So we all embody each individual um, major arcana card in regards to our star signs. Now this could be indicating you're dealing with an Aries. You may have Aries somewhere in your chart, but again, a fire sign does embody the Emperor because he is the ruler. It is the card of Mars. So. First things first, somebody has been an asshole. Now this could be a boss, a father, a partner, but they're being extremely dominant, very, very overpowering, um, somewhat narcissistic, bullyish. Somebody who breaks the law, they're alone to themselves. Um, you can't have a decent conversation with this person because their ego talks like you don't you very rarely get to speak to the real person who is the emperor reverse because their ego is always speaking on their behalf this is somebody who believes they're more important than they actually are and again it's a very very bullish overly domineering person this could also indicate somebody who's self-employed or has their own business or they're quite high up in the job that they're working. Let's see the strength when facing this. Nine of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. This could be somebody who, first of all, this could be somebody who likes to drink. Somebody who has a drinking problem, very greedy, very, very greedy, selfish, self-centered. Um, now for whatever reason, this person has been manifested. I'm not saying that you've manifested the person the way they are. I think the person you manifested is what you got in the beginning with this person. The falsehood. You know, the lie that they made you fall in love with before they changed. So once upon a time, this person was possibly your wish. But there's a lot of greed and arrogance with, with this Nine of Cups in this position. What's the weakness, please? But somebody has also been given a higher position at work, which is what the, all they've ever wanted. But for whatever reason, this is going to go to their head. In the weakness, we've got the Eight of Cups reversed. So somebody may have given up on something prematurely. Somebody may have walked away too early, too soon. Again, especially if you're dealing with someone who's extremely egotistical, maybe you didn't fulfill their needs anymore, fulfill their need for greed. They couldn't work you like a piano anymore. But this can also indicate not walking away before. This has taken a long time and you've thought about walking away, you've contemplated it, or you have, but then you went back and this person keeps using emotions against you. They keep, you keep being manipulated. Give some advice, please. Could be dealing with a cancer, we've definitely got water and fire here. Let's have some advice. 
yeah queen of coins reversed Virgo Taurus Capricorn very 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 materialistic person the only thing that matters to them is them this is somebody who is the star of their own show every day always feeling the need to show off boast um, very very bitter very self-centered again they like the glamorous lifestyle and you have to fit into this and you know always act and be a certain way when you're with this person um, very very high expectations very very domineering let's get some clarifiers but somebody's extremely spiteful extremely spiteful they're only in it for how it suits their needs especially where money's concerned this is somebody who has got an addiction to money can we clarify the emperor reversed for sagittarius please clarify the emperor reversed five of coins yeah this is somebody who is they were always concerned about going without this could have been somebody who threw you out with nothing but the shirt on your back you know they threw you to the curb because you were no use to them anymore maybe you you lost a job or you had no finances or you're going through a difficult patch this is somebody who didn't have your back there's also a lot of paranoia here of being without going without but this is somebody who just uses people they use people to their own advantage what's the nine of cups for sagittarius Oof. nine of cups for sagittarius Hermit, sign of Virgo. So, going quiet. Somebody's gone quiet. They're going within to seek answers, to make a plan, a plan of action, what to do. Somebody's planning on what to do, and if you're not, this card is indicating that. It's time to make a plan. Keep your cards close to your chest. Don't let people know what you're doing. Because you will find the answers that you seek. Eight of Cups reversed for Sagittarius. What is the Eight of Cups reversed for Sagittarius? Very, very spiritual, very enlightened. Somebody's enlightened about somebody. They've woken up from something. Eight of Cups reversed. Oh, that's too many. Too many. Eight of Cups reversed for Sagittarius. Keep getting four, five, six cards. One card, please, Archangel Michael. There we go. So we have got the Four of Swords. So needing to take a break, needing to have a rest. Somebody needs a time out from this. Could be a uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Somebody needs a time out because they're emotionally and physically exhausted. Can't take any more. Needing to go into a bit of a dream state slumber replenish your your energy reserves somebody is wearing you into the ground they really are they're really really pushing all your buttons what's the queen of coins reversed queen of coins reversed for sagittarius yeah you need to take a break somebody needs a break from this it's suffocating it's definitely suffocating it's all about the money queen of coins reversed very very heavily burdened by this situation extremely heavily burdened can't carry on can't carry on somebody can't carry on you can't carry on the way you're going it's too much it's way way too much can you have some final outcome please yeah it's too much drop the responsibilities drop the burdens somebody's expecting way too much wheel of fortune good things take a turn for the better somebody is going to be getting some karmic 
whether it's karmic fate, rewards, um, oh. ace of coins reversed. So, yeah, ten of cups reversed as well. So somebody is going to lose out financially. There is going to be a turn of events where I see this reading as this person will fall flat on their face. They will lose everything. The family home, the family connection, their finances. Somebody's going to lose it all through selfishness and greed. Can I have a Lenormand card for this reading for Sagittarius, please? Definitely could be dealing with a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, but this is a loss, a huge loss. Somebody could end up in hospital as well. Somebody may be ill. Yeah, need to cut out the falsehood, the false romancing. This person knows exactly what to say to get in your head to draw you back in. They think they, they you know, this is somebody who's very, very clever at what they do. They know exactly what to say to bring you back. It's a play on emotions. Some, somebody may be buying somebody flowers whenever something's gone wrong. And they seem to think that this small gesture is what's needed to fix the damage. And it's not, you need to cut this out. This needs to be cut out. Can we have an energy card for Sagittarius, please? that come out took the one on the bottom Ugh, broken heart well that's never the easiest card to read is it so this is grief and loss this card shows a heart broken open revealing darkness emptiness and grief filled the hurt may be from long ago or it may be the pain from a more recent event either way a deep healing is called for vent your feelings and release the person or situation involved Affirm that you are reclaiming your power and peace of mind. Open your heart to the light of the divine love and healing and have compassion for yourself through this difficult process. Make self-care a priority. As you let go of old experiences, you can open your heart to the true and abiding love that you so rightly deserve. So you need to leave this where it was if this is something from the past. Leave it there, don't focus on it. And if you are still stuck in this situation, I need you to know that when this person loses everything, you're going to lose everything too. Whereas if you get out now, the universe will have you back with this Wheel of Fortune. It will make sure you're okay. But whatever it is you're dealing with, it's time to cut the toxic situation or person out because it's doing you no favours. So I'll leave that there. That was for October 31st. Like, share, subscribe. Let me know in the comment section if this resonates. Keep your kitchen witch happy by giving me a big thumbs up. And I'll see you all again soon.